Hey guys, it's Bella, and today I want to talk about my hamster's cage. She is a Syrian hamster. She's, I just say, probably two months old. I got her about a month and a half ago, and when I first bought her, I didn't know much about hamsters. I've had them when I was little, but I didn't know the proper way to take care of her. And so I bought this really small cage, and it just I just realized she was climbing up the bars and she was starting to chew the bars and I just realized like that is not normal hamster behavior so this is the cage that she has now as you can see here we have the wheel the hut the tube food in the back and water on the side just not enough room for her after doing more research and actually looking into what kind of wood is good for hamsters and how to make their living situation better um, I found that the minimum space for running encouraged is 450 square inches this cage is probably only 200 and something not great it's actually terrible <laughs> So I asked my dad to help me build a new cage that is actually 1,080 square inches of running space, which I am super excited about to build. So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you learn something about it and I hope it encourages you to build a bigger and better home. This is just my dad cutting the scrap wood we found in the barn that is safe for hamsters to be around. And our measurements were 24 inches for the width, 45 inches for the length, and 22 inches for the height. This is just my dad placing a white piece over the wood covered in contact cement glue. This is just so it's easier to clean the cage if hamster pee gets on it or my hamster makes a mess on it. My dad is now trimming the white piece to fit the wood so that when I start rolling it out, it will not crack or shatter the entire thing. Here you can see I'm starting to roll it out. In this video, I only really roll out the edges because it is very important to get the edges so that this does not start to peel or crack. This took all of my weight and was very exhausting. <laughs> but I love my hamsters, so I was willing to do it. Here you can see that we have marked where we are going to drill and screw all of it together. We started by putting roux glue on the wood, and then we are going to drill and screw in where we are going to put it together. This just makes sure the cage lasts longer so I can use this for multiple hamsters in the future. Please note that you are not supposed to put more than one hamster in the same cage. This is why I'm only using this for one hamster at a time. We are just now placing all the wood pieces together, but the front piece of this cage is not going to be wood, it is going to be plexiglass. This is where it will be clear so I can see my hamster burrow, play, and enjoy her new cage. This is my father adding the back piece of the cage to the other pieces and this wood sticking out is where I am going to stain it to make it look nicer because it is visible outside of the cage and will not be covered up.
This is me finally staining it. One of the final touches is just make it look nice. It's a nice dark brown and I think it's needed. This is the kind of use I highly suggest. This is the plexiglass, the brown paper is there. It'll be peeled off. It's just so it doesn't get scratched. And this is the final cage and I can't wait to move her in. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please subscribe and comment if you have any questions. Bye!